What is going on guys, it is your boy Dan and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now this DLC has literally just dropped about 5 minutes ago and I'm trying to upload the video as soon as possible to bring you guys the best content as I can. Now the Independence Day DLC has just released 5 minutes ago and I've just bought the brand new vehicle, the monster truck, the Liberator. Now I'm going to go test it, take this for a test drive and show you some of the features of this vehicle. This is the first time driving it. Ho oh, ho! This thing's a boost! I'm gonna... I'll get confused, hang on. Because the back wheel's turned and so do the front wheels, that's pretty... that's awesome. Now as I've just said guys, this vehicle has literally just been released with the Independence Day DLC. Now... I wonder if I can just crush over cars. <laughs> yeah, boy. Right now, as I've guys, you've seen me take this thing for a test drive. I'm gonna go see if we can take it to Los Santos Customs. I don't think we will be able to, but if we could customize this thing, that'll be beast. Now, when you purchase this vehicle, you c it doesn't get delivered to your garage. You have to go and pick it up from Pegasus, which is what I had to do there. That's why I was in that location. This thing just drives over things. <laughs> oh my god, this this thing's a beast. Now, I will show you after I've got to Los Santos Customs, see if you can customise it. There's also another vehicle with that came with this DLC, and it was the um, a motorcycle, a motorbike, and it's called the Sovereign, which I've purchased as well, which I'll show you in a minute guys but I can't see this nah unfortunately we cannot modify this thing but nevertheless guys it is an absolute monster now I'm just gonna park it right here and walk around it just to compare the size of it compared to other vehicles now it's part of the vapid as you guys can see the vapid logo on the front but this thing is just an absolute tank I mean you can you kinda Look at the engine in the back though. Oh my god. So, I'm going to show you where you can purchase this vehicle from. You have to go on the website, go on Travel and Transport, and you have to go on the Warstock Cash and Carry, and it is an expensive vehicle. The vehicle is 740,014. I don't have a clue why it's that price, because every other vehicle is pretty much a, ra a rounded up number. But for some reason this vehicle is like all over the place, but I'm trying to work my way to get this dubster as well guys. So, but this is an absolute boost. Now, the other vehicle which you can order is the Sovereign, which is the other motorcycle, which you have to go to the Southern San Andreas website. And it's right at the very top, it's 120,000, and it's a bike which I'm going to order. I've ordered it right now, so I'm going to get it delivered to my location and see if there's any customizable options for that vehicle. So... Let's call up my mechanic. Yeah, I've been hyped for this DLC. Uh, where is it there? It is an absolute animal. That is just a god. There's also been so a few weapons came out in this DLC, and there's a few other things which I'm I'm gonna cover. But let's just take this vehicle and see if I can customize it. The new bike. And I love the paint jobs on them because it's to do with the American Independence Day. I know I'm not from America, I'm from the UK, but nevertheless, it still looks pretty awesome. Now, as you guys can see, this bike looks awesome. It's like some sort of chopper bike. It's pretty cool. And we can't take this into Los Angeles Customs, so let's see what we can do. Oh, look at this. We've got everything. Armour, brakes, engine, don't do explosive lights, plate. Right, sell it for 82 grand. Turbo, and wheels. We'll go with. Actually, to be honest, I think I'm just going to leave them stock.
leave that stuck as well. Okay. So that, there isn't that many customizable options. It's just pretty much the um, upgrades in the terms of the performance-wise. So yeah. But what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm not going to go on that. I'm going to get back in this beast because this is the best vehicle of the DLC. And then I'm going to go to the ammunition and get the new weapons which are released. And where's the nearest ammunition? Let's have a look. Uh, there. Let's go monster truck. <laughs> Let's go driving over some more cars. Excuse me, come through. <laughs> this thing is an absolute monster. There's also been seven more properties added to the Dynasty 8 website, which I will be showing you after I've got the weapons. So, I've been really looking forward to this DLC, especially for this monster truck. Like, in my previous video, which I uploaded this morning, I didn't know whether this pack was 100% confirmed or it was coming out today, but I know that all DLC comes out on a Tuesday for Grand Theft Auto and Independence Day isn't actually until Friday, but they've decided to release it. Plus, this DLC is only for a limited time, so get the vehicles while you can. So, here's the new weapons. You've got... Uh, <laughs> I thought that was some sort of giant RPG dildo type of thing, but it's, it's actually a firework launcher, which I've heard about. So here we've got the weapons, some of the weapons I haven't actually bought. Some of these DLC ones, which I probably should, but we've got... Right, let's have a look. I know that's from the previous DLC, but we've got the Firework Launcher. Oh, fireworks. That's right, four fireworks, you can have up to 20. And uh, we can put a camera on this bitch. Let's go with... Let's go with the pink, that looks awesome. Right, uh, there's also another weapon, the musket, which looks like some sort of rifle. Let's buy loads of ammo for this. Spamming the A button though. Alright, I'll get to 200 and that should be enough. There we go, and then we've got the camo for the weapon. That looks sick in gold, so I'm going to put it in gold. And then we've got fireworks. Really? You're going to have different fireworks? Can I, can I buy them all? Oh, we can have up to 10 fireworks, okay. Right, let's go give this a test. Why? Right. How do I use this bitch? Right, I've got... Hang on. How do I get the... I know I haven't got any ammo with no weapon. No. Right. Can I shoot it? How much if I go... Whoa, that's cool! I wonder what happens if I fire it off someone. <laughs> I don't want to fire it off a monster truck. That's that's this car. Actually, is there a car coming this way? I tell you what, would be sick doing this at night time. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, there's one of the DLC weapons. Let's go to this one. Let's give someone a quick. Oh, and that's nice. I like that. You gotta put the. You gotta clean it and then put the bullet back in. Sick. Oh, things nasty. Oh, I've got the cops on me now. What up, lad? Oh eh? What the fuck are you doing? Right. Let's whip out the fire lo I see what you can do. You can buy fireworks. And then when you purchase the fireworks, the... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, when you purchase the different colour fireworks, that's what the colour comes out. Which is awesome. So, while that car's on fire, 
I'm gonna get back in my monster truck and run over some more cops. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go on then, lads. What up, fams? Coming through. Yeah. This thing is an absolute monster. <laughs> Whee. This is probably the best off-road vehicle there is now. Oh. 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 I'm gonna be having fun with this vehicle later on GTA Online in a pra in a public match, just run over running over people. Right, so I'm gonna try and escape from these cops now, and then, I'll, then I'm gonna show you the new properties that you can buy. I'll do some more running over cops later today. I'll probably upload like a rampage video where it's just me destroying cops on like a huge wanted level. I might have that. I might upload that later. Coming through, lads. Right, so I pretty, pretty think I'm pretty secure right here. Just drive over some hedges. I think you can get some new masks as well. Right, so I'm just going to park right here and show you the new websites. The, the new apartment, sorry. So, view the properties. So you've got... A new house, which is 170 grand, which isn't too bad. It's only a six-car garage, though. You've got another six-car garage house in Blaine County. You've got 155k, another house down at Blaine County. You can buy a garage. I think that's a garage. It doesn't look like an apartment. It looks like a garage. And then you've got another house at West um, West Los Santos. Another apartment. Uh, actually, no. Are they up? I don't know. That's a new one. The new, uh, the new house. And I think these ones have previously been in the game. That's another new one. That one actually looks really nice. It's, a, it's only got a two, two car garage. Um, that's another one of Blaine County. So yeah guys, this, this DLC is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. I like it, I like the DLC. So, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I know there's a few other little things, but I'm pretty sure you can, there's a few masks and stuff, but I'm not gonna go over that in this video, so. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Please smash that like button and hit that subscribe. I've tried to make this video as fast as possible for you guys. So you can watch it as soon as the DLC came out. So, until next time guys, it's been your boy Dan and I'm out. Peace.